Chasing my dreams was so far away Made my mistakes but I'm still Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I am here on the island of Koh Phi Phi, Thailand, and today I'd like to speak with you about an application called Wirex. Wirex provides prepaid Visa cards that can be funded with Bitcoin. You can get a virtual card, or you can have a physical one delivered to your address. The virtual cards can be created within the app instantly and funded directly via Bitcoin on the spot. You can then use these virtual cards to complete online payments just like you would a regular Visa card. Let's take a look at the application and how it works. All right, so here we are on the wirexapp.com website and all you're gonna do is hit register for free and they are going to collect just a tiny bit of information. What they're gonna need from you is one, an email address, a first and last name and a password. After that, all you need to do is hit create account and you're on your way. Before we get to the app, we're just gonna look at a couple things here. There are fees associated with getting an actual physical card sent to you, uh, but if you scroll down here and look at the other fees, there are no fees for basic transactions, but you will need to watch out when you're using an ATM domestically or internationally, or if you're using a foreign currency other than the one it is denominated in. If I scroll down further here to the limits, there's no limits with any sort of spending from the card itself once it's loaded up. That's per day or value or anything like that. Um, but there are limits as far as withdrawing from ATMs. Uh, there, are so, there are also limits as far as loading up the card each day. Now when you open up the app, this is your main screen. It starts off with your Bitcoin wallet up above and it has the Bitcoin value as well as the dollar value. Uh, if I click the card itself, it's going to bring up my QR code as well as a few other things here. If I tap the address, it copies it for sending to somebody else. You can actually fund this in a variety of coins as well. Uh, and if you hit share, you can share your address via social media. Now, if I go back to the main screen here, you can see down below there is also past transactions, uh, anything that you've done in the past little bit. You can hit the settings wheel up in the top and you can see all a ton of information here. You can set your reference currency, uh, you can turn on security features, and there's basic cardholder agreements and so on and so forth. If I go back out, I can swipe over a little bit to the right and you can see here's a card that I opened up myself just recently. It's a US dollar card. If I hit this little arrow, there's three options. I can load the card, get my details, or block the card when I want to cancel it. My transactions are still down below. If I hit get card details, it's actually going to send those card details to my email for me to use for my online transactions. If I swipe over to the right, I can hit order a new card. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. When I hit that button, it's going to bring up whether I want a virtual or plastic card sent to me, and I can choose my currency. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start a British pound Visa card. So I choose my currency. Down below, it is gonna cost me four millibits, which is about, uh, it's just shy of three US dollars, I believe. I'm gonna hit submit. Once that pops up, that is it, is complete. I hit continue and that should be on my screen pretty quick here. I'll just swipe over to the side really quick, let it refresh. And if I go back, there is my British pound card. Now let's take a look at how to load the card. So this is my US dollar card. I'm just gonna hit the down arrow. I'm gonna hit load card and choose how much I want. I already have some Bitcoin in my wallet. I'm just gonna hit send. And this is actually a pretty quick process. It's pretty instant. All right, just hit submit to confirm this is what you actually want to do. And that is it, complete. So I'm gonna hit continue and that should be on my card relatively quickly. You can see the transaction is there. Uh, it's pending momentarily. Um, and you can look down, there's reference numbers, you can contact support if you need to. Uh, but when I go back out here, yep, it is already on my card. Sometimes there's a notification that pops up there to let you know, ah, there it is. 
All in all, this is a very easy to use application, especially when you're comparing this to the process of getting a regular credit card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought and any ideas you may have for future videos that you'd like to see. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a tip if you're able and share this video with anyone you think may benefit. I will see you guys next time on the BTC sessions.